Does your room look like this? Let's settle down and get this fixed. Let's start by creating a new variable called speed x. Put this sprite only. Let's create another variable called speed y. Put this sprite only as well. Let's set the new variables to zero when we start the game so we don't move before the game starts. Replace all the change x with the change speed x and all the change y with the change speed y with the and then with putting in the right value. Okay. Put that in and now you can see as I press the arrow keys the values change wildly. Okay, let's fix that. But before we do that, let's get the cat moving. Okay, so let's put a change x and a change y into the forever loop, and we want it to change by our speed. So speed x, speed y, and the right thing. We will then set speed x and speed y to themselves times by, let's start with the number 0.5. So, put speed x or speed y in there. So, let's times it by 0 0.5. And that will be setting our friction. Let's try 0 0.9 to see what happens. As you can see, with a higher number, it glides much more. You can mess around with this number to see what is fit with your game like i might try i'll try 0 0.85 and now we have a little bit of a less gliding effect okay so let's create a new variable called speed for this spread only and at the start of the game let's set the speed value to one Replacing the change by 1 with the speed and the change by negative 1 with 0 minus speed. So we have a negative speed number. Make sure you re press the green flag before you test. Now it looks amazing. Be sure to change the speed variable to whatever is fit for your game though. To make it look better, Let's put a set rotation style to left and right at the beginning of the script, and in the forever loop, put a point in direction sp to speed x. Now look at that. Be sure to check out how to make Flappy Bird if you want to have some flapping fun.